If you've ever found a wilted plant in the garden and you know it's getting enough water, you're not alone. Today, we're going to be talking about root knot nematodes, what they do to crush a grower's dreams, and what you can do if you find them crushing yours. We've all been there. You go out, you do your daily garden inspection, only to find your favorite pepper plant completely wilted, loaded with fruit, but dead. Sometimes it seems to have happened overnight. Too far. Too far. Yeah. I'm gonna draw a line for you. Ready? Don't right. find any damage to no root. Oh, yeah, there's no root. We ain't worried about these roots. Right. The whole plant's infected? It fucked up the roots so the plant can't eat. What? See the knots on the roots? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the worms. Yeah. On our farm, the two main causes are generally attributed to root rot fungi or root knot nematodes. And on occasion, we even find termites to be the culprit. Root knot nematodes are a root zone parasite belonging to the genus Meloidogyne. They target agricultural crops. These nematodes bore through and deposit their eggs into the roots via a rectal excretion of a gelatinous matrix. This gelatinous rectal matrix then forms scarring and protective knots around the eggs that will prevent the roots from taking up any water or nutrients. Aside from taking cuttings, little can be done to save a plant that has been affected. But you can treat the soil. The main methods of treatment for affected soils are chemical nematicides, cover crop green mulching, and the use of beneficial predators and organisms like fungi and mold. We opt for the latter with our use of fermented plant juice in hopes that the biodiversity of the fungi and other microbes will drive them out or eat them. microbes that me and you can't even see right. that are attacking those nematodes and those nematodes are like oh that I'm out right, right, you know right. yeah. better hope not onto another plant well you just you drench all your plants right and you hope you know and you grow cover crop if you want to know more about Korean natural farming and how we make our FPJ Make sure to check out our previous video titled Dank Tank No Rules FPJ. After cleaning the soil of any infected root debris, we like to hit them hard with a full strength fermented plant juice and we let them cook for a week or two before replacing with a transplant. This approach works well for us and we hope it sheds some light on sudden wilt in your garden and maybe what you can do about it. Thank you.
It's so damn stank, stank, stank. Oh, that was gross, dude. Whatever. Clump, clop. That's <laughs> it. Just fell that back down in there. 